All right, man, let's go to Michigan next and Blake Corum. And listen, okay, we all know that at the next level, the running back is devalued. And at college football, it isn't. Before the ACL injury last year, which was unfortunate we get to see him at the end of the season, he was the best. He was the best in college football. This dude is is a player that we could find at the Heisman ceremony in New York at the end of the year, and he may be hoisting up that trophy. That's how good he is. But coming back from an ACL is tough. I did love what Harbaugh said at Big Ten Media Days that he feels like he is better and stronger than he was a year ago, and that has to be scary for the rest of the Big Ten. So he's obviously a phenomenal player. Like you said, probably the best running back in the country last year before he tore his ACL. Here's what I know. Coming back from an injury is more than just physical. Okay, Mental been, stuff, huh? Yeah. Yeah, like Adrian Peterson, when he came back from his ACL years ago, and it's funny, when he shared this story, I'm like, yeah, I can relate. He'd be pushing his shopping cart around the corner of a grocery store, and he'd like plan extra hard on that knee just to test it out. And those are things that I can relate to. There's just this mental part and this mental acclimation once you've been cleared. And just because you've been cleared doesn't mean it actually feels good, okay? The way it feels directly affects how you think. And even once you get to the point where it feels good, have you been hit? Have you been battered? Have you been tackled? Have you towed to the rock 20, 30, 35, 40 times the way he might in Michigan's offense, depending on the game? Have you done that yet to test it out? You can't do it until you've done it. So I'm rooting for him to be clear. Okay, and he may be hosting the Heisman at the end of the year. It'd be a great story. But that mental part of the game can't be underestimated. 